Hello, this is TJ with netpicks.com and the Spotlight Power Trader Trade of the Week. Before we get started with this week's trade, I wanted to point out to you our Netpicks blog. This is netpicks.com, trading tips. This is a great blog. There's a lot of excellent content on here. It's on this blog where you will find our trades of the week. So, for example, the new trade of the week, which I'll get into in a moment, is a short on HYG. We'll talk about that in a moment, but if you scroll down, you will also see my colleague Mike Rixie's options trades of the week, and further down, you will find a lot of other content. If you're following any of our prior trades of the week, like for example, uh, the sh the long trade in the Euro Aussie, you'll want to bookmark these pages and check back because as each trade progresses, we will be putting updates at the bottom of the post. Okay, so make sure you bookmark your trade of the week or the ones that you're following. Again, that's netpicks.com slash trading hyphen tips. Okay, hopefully you guys will pay us a visit often and follow these trades of the week. Each week, we're going to show you a trade that is setting up. You can either take it, follow it, learn from it. Please keep in mind trading is risky, and this is all meant for educational purposes. So before we begin, let's review uh, some of the trades that are still active with the spotlight trades of the week. There was a short, a put option trade on USO, which uh, we cut that risk in half and actually flipped to long we had gotten short at this green line but ended up getting long here at this green line right here and we've since hit target one and on friday uh, we came within two cents of target two so i would recommend on if you're in this trade on monday to you know give it a moment but don't fight over two cents feel free to scale out some of your position we're going to take 20 percent off at each one of our targets so you could take off some of your position here if you only have one option i would just hold it the stops already moved to take the risk off the trade stops should be here now right at 1277 the us cad has moved up nicely you can see there's a target that's quite a ways up but we've already moved our stop and it's starting to trail our balance line so the trailer needs to be at 1.2764 we got long back in here, so definitely some good profit locked in on this trade so far, and we'll see if the stop will hold for another push higher. Unfortunately, our call option in Ma Bell and in, in, in AT&T, symbol T, didn't work out. It went through our resistance level and then quickly sold off for a loss. So this is a losing trade. It's what a losing trade looks like. See over here, prior winner. This is a, a really good trade plan, but every now and then a trade's going to lose. And unfortunately got caught up in all the politics going on with tariffs and what have you, and the markets going down with interest rates going up, etc., etc. So this trade is over and you should be done with this. We will look for a new trade. In fact, we have one. Let's get into it now. So this is a, another short trade. This is with HYG, which is the iShares, iBox, high yield bond ETF. And it did trigger in here on Friday. The trade got short at 84.90. Okay, so what I like to do is wait to see what the price action reveals and then make a little adjustment on the entry. I push the entry down a few ticks. We're going to make the price go below the low of this bar here. So the low is at 84.82. So if it gets to 84.79, then we're going to buy puts. May or June, 86 puts. We're going with in the money puts. And you can see the stop is right here. So if you, we're going to let the, the actual stock guide our options trades as we typically do. So it's all about what the actual stock or ETF price does. So if it gets to 84.79, a few ticks below the low of that bar, then you'll want to buy May 86 puts. You can buy June also if you want more time. The puts that are further out will return more premium back to you if it does go the other way and hit the stop. 
Okay, so that's one reason to go further out. You'll get a little more profit potential if it gets to the targets quickly with the May puts. Okay, either way, they're both going to be very good if we hit targets. So the stop would go to 86.26. That's when you would close out of your position with a full loss. But we're targeting 83.81, 82.43, 80.98, and 80.29. Okay, those targets are below, they're further down here. If we get to that little dot right there at 84.40, we're going to move our stop down and take off most of the risk, maybe all of it. We'll see what the chart looks like if that happens, and then I will update the blog post. All right, so that's today's trade of the week, a short in HYG, May or June 86 puts if the price hits 84.79. Back to the blog, you can see right here, if you want to follow this trade, come to the blog. You can see all the details here. Here's a screenshot I just showed you. Here's some updates from past trades. At the very bottom here, I will put updates as this trade progresses. So make sure you bookmark this page and check back. And thanks again for joining me on this video, you guys. This is the Spotlight Trade of the Week. My name is TJ with NetPix and the Inner Circle with the Spotlight Power Trader.